are, what are all of your feelings about the market? I know Marilyn uh, has a, a traditional listing that she's been working on that she did. And a traditional, we hardly even hear that anymore, right? Where somebody has owned their property and you know they, they have equity in the property and it's not a short sell, nor is it an equity flip. Um, it's just a regular old seller selling the regular home, and those numbers seem to be increasing again, which is a good indicator that our market is getting healthier. And um, what kind of experience? Do you want to share the experience that you've had with your property? With that particular uh, traditional sale, um, it actually went very well. It took a little bit longer than my client had anticipated. Um, a lot of showings, uh, a lot of interest, and then uh, just uh, had an offer on it the other day, and it will be closing here in July. Awesome. So, Yay. Uh, great Yay. money behind it. Awesome, well. awesome. And I think it's a good point to note as people are out shopping and they get into this frenzy about wanting to buy everything because there appears to be a shortage, this particular property took a little bit longer because it butts up to a major road. So while you don't want to, everybody has a right to buy where they want to buy, they really, people need to pay attention to location, right? Where is this house? And even if you think you're going to live in it the rest of your life, in case I don't, how difficult is that going to be to sell, right? And I've always told people, I'll sell you whichever house you want, but the idea is that when you go to resell it, and I want you to come to me, and I don't want you to blame me for selling you this house because it's difficult to sell. So kind of thinking that. You've had your share of those, right, April? I have. I have. I, I always say, I don't want you to be mad at me when I try to sell your house in five years. Exactly. <laughs> so we need to be careful. <laughs> exactly. But I wrote an offer on a traditional sale yesterday. Had four offers on it. The house was dated, and it was 40000 above the last sale in the neighborhood, and they already had four offers. And it was 40 Okay, so this is another interesting topic. How is that affecting appraisal issues, right? And they took reflections. That, that's a problem. My FHA guy is having a big problem with that, because if you're doing an FHA loan, you're required to get two appraisals if the home was a flip. So an investor bought it from the bank for a short sale, remodeled it, put it back on the market. A uh, homeowner wants that house, and most of the homeowners are FHA buyers right now, and so FHA is requiring two appraisals. Yeah. They already got in trouble last time for. <laughs> so, do you think the house is going to appraise, or has no, it appraised it's already? Appraise. Four thousand dollars short. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Not too bad. The, on this situation, the buyer is coming in with an extra two thousand dollars, and the seller dropped two thousand. So they're meeting in the middle. Of they're they're each meeting. They're each cooperating, yeah. which is good. It's a, but it, it's tough. It's tough because the natural inclination is to put a really high offer because you want that property. And you might think that then the seller is going to come down to the praise value, but oftentimes that's not happening they right don't. now. No, he's right. Not. The seller he's is wanting split. you to do what? Yep. Yep. He asked for it. So if, if my, luckily my buyers had the extra $2,000 and the lender agreed, you know, sometimes different lending conditions won't let you come in with it. But this one is okay, so they're going to come in with $2,000 extra dollars above appraisal. Well, that, that's good. So I'm glad that's working out. We've seen a lot of people waive contingency clauses if there's multiple offers on the table. They're trying to get buyers to waive their contingency clause prior to going under contract. I'm not sure I agree with that. You mean waive? I, I don't know that I'd let my buyer waive their contingency. Right. No, I don't think they should. And I see where they're also you wanting to waive the right. inspection period. Yeah. And they should never, never, ever waive their inspection period. I mean, we should learn from the past, right? Exactly. A lot of this mess that we're in right now happens. Absolutely. <laughs> From the overbidding of properties. Property right. Correct. And don't you guys find that that's happening? According also to Tina Tambor Consulting, according to her reports, for the last four or five months, we've been increasing 5% per month. I mean, it's doesn't this scary. sound like 2005? Yeah, it it's a little Absolutely. scary. It scares me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like we didn't learn the first time. You right. Know? So people just need to, I mean, the price points are still great. Of course, the interest rates are fabulous, but people need to be cautious. 3% right. they just hit, for the first time in recorded history, they're the lowest they've ever been. Oh, the interest rate? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. What is so, it? So 3% for a 15-year fixed. Wow. Yeah, incredible. Wow. So it's too bad Lizzie's not here today. Refinancing must be taken off like crazy. Right. She's too busy. Yeah. She's too busy. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> Jira, we're
works a lot with, uh, you know, as you all know, he works with uh, Bridgebuilt, which is a company that actually purchases distressed properties, rehabs them, and then sell them. And it's a government initiative to be able to provide owner-occupant opportunity because with a ma market as fast as it is, cash investors coming in, for somebody wanting to buy a home to live in, it's a little bit tough. And Jared, can you tell us a little bit about the Bridgebuilt product? Uh, Bridgebuilt buys their homes. Uh, they rehab them fully so they're moving ready and uh, they only sell to home occupants. Uh, they cannot sell to investors, uh, which makes it actually an easy sale for me because there's multiple buyers out there looking to buy nice homes that are moving ready, and these homes are perfect for them. Do you tend to get multiple offers on those? Lately, we've got multiple offers on everything, and everything's gone over asking price. And buyers have been willing to bring additional funds to the close. So, to the difference. so are you having appraisal issues? Not in most cases, no, but on a few where it did appraise a little bit under what the offer price was, the buyer stepped up and brought in the additional funds. And we're happy to do that. Is Bridgefield at, at this point willing to negotiate also if the, um, uh, bringing down the price for the buyer? If that varies down? sale by sale, but at this point, probably not. Uh, because there's too many buyers out there waiting in the line to buy the product. Owner occupants, owner occupants with owner cash occupants. and owner occupants getting loans. Well, it's surprising there's a lot of cash buyers out there that are mm -hmm. owner occupants. 